Hello all, Sirius Lees here, back for some more finishing permadeath, and as you can see, I'm at 297 hours, and when I started today, at the beginning of the day, I was at 290 hours, so I've put 7 hours or more in today, hunting that darned explorer in S-Class, and I'll tell you what my findings were when we log into the game, I saw it drop once, in S-Class, and I can't recall exactly where we left off or what I covered last time, but when you get an A or lower class of it in the star system and upgrade it, you get a 207, or sorry, a 171 light year range, and that's not good enough for me. So upgrading it won't work. I need to find an S-Class, and it needs to have, procedurally, randomly, a better hyperdrive, a near 180 hyperdrive range. It dropped once today, in S-Class, only once, and uh, that was a 174.3 or a 173.4. It was very low and barely higher than the upgraded version. I reloaded. I just kept looking. I just kept looking. And uh, another thing I found is three of these things today. Three of these have spawned. One S-Class Explorer that I'm looking for has spawned. I haven't really been paying attention to the other classes of Explorer. I've just been um, waiting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was going blurry and, f you know, not blurry. Yeah, weird. Okay. Claim scrap. Yep, yep, yep. I've been doing this uh, on the last two. I decided that we'll just keep the modules we get. And we can ditch the um, resources we get. Let's hop into the ship. Now, I crashed earlier when I hit my inventory here. Okay. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I think. Let's put these over here. This go with the pulse modules. I've realized that I need to upgrade this ship too, not just the potential explorer that I would like to get. So I need more than just what this ship was holding. I need, well, double, double what this ship was holding because that ship has like no upgrades by itself either, 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 whichever. So we need six and we're at three. Six and three for hyperdrive. We're at six and two for pulse. We are not even at six for shields. Let's see what the ship does have installed. N nothing, like literally, almost literally nothing. Okay, that's launch thrusters, so that's neat. Okay, we could have been looking for that ship here. I was just about to ask whether or not the sound sounded really low, but my jack pa uh, jack pack, <laughs> my jet pack sounds at a normal volume, so maybe it's just the ship landing sounds. Hmm. I can check. Let's let's take a peek. General options. Nope. That's where they normally are. I turned them down for storms, but that's about normal for me. Okay. Well, instead of continuing on hunting the ship since it didn't spawn while we were talking here and scrapping that other exotic, um, instead of waiting, which I'm still doing, come on ships, come on, fly in, come on, one more. No. All right, we'll just take off. We'll land on the freighter. We're gonna do some frigate stuff today in the interim, and we're gonna hope. Uh, speaking of frigate stuff, where is, oh, there it is. <laughs> this ship could definitely use those pulse drives. It's uh, very hard to maneuver. So, oh no, I think I left my other ship down on the planet. No, I left the game. It should be on the freighter here. That's right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the crash I was talking about. Right, I remember now. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave that ship, but because and it's got our, well, it's got some storage augmentations on it. I'm sure I have plenty on the freighter. But we're going to hop over into our main ship again. Just so if we reload from here, we'll have something to go into. Uh, or come with us. What was that that landed? Where? What did I hear land? Something landed. Hmm. 
Oh, that's weird. Normally that slot is uh, filled with one of your ships. Interesting. <laughs> but it's not the one I'm looking for. So back up to the frigates. I have no idea where we're at, but there should be some new missions for us to do. And it looks like we have to recall at least one, probably two. Yes, sir. Yep. Just the two. Guarantee I don't have room for that. I have not done much inventory management. Indium. We can take a quick peek. No, that's full. Okay. We'll ditch it all. We have max units or close enough. Yeah, we're about 30 million short of max units. No big deal. Uh, you know, that's just metal plating, but I think I want to hang on to it. Uh, these I would like to hang on to, yeah. Where was I? Underwater. I have crystal sulfide, too. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. I was actually looking uh, for some... Uh, I took a quick break today. It wasn't seven straight hours of uh, hunting that explorer. I took a quick break to scan some animals. <laughs> I went down to the water, scanned uh, one out of the two fish there. The other one just wouldn't spawn. Weird stuff. But uh, whatever, no big deal. Oh, 20 is a max stack for that. That's unfortunate. You need a lot of crystal sulfide for building underwater stuff. Same with living pearls, but they stack to... Looks like 60. At least 50, but it looks like 60. Uh, we're going to need another spot for crystal sulfide. So... Go back to here. Oh, we only have three. Uh... You know what? It's going to have to go here for now. We've got a lot of dihydrogen jelly, if you notice. We could clean up some room here. Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong button there. Okay, and put that away. There we go. We've got tons of room now for those frigate missions. Could clean it up a bit so the stuff doesn't appear up here. Even though I don't really need all of this nitrogen salt, we'll hang on to it for now. 12 slots. Okay, good enough. <laughs> what do you guys got for us that we're not going to throw away and we're just going to hoard? Oh, really? No, that will delete. Grantine will delete. Geodesite will check on. Enriched carbon will probably keep because we're a hoarder. And it's annoying to make if you don't keep it from these things, but uh, you tend to never run out. I have more than I ever could ask for. All right, another one of those. We were able to grab both frigate missions. That's impressive. With only 12 slots, let's take a peek. How did that fill up? Fully? No, we got one slot left. Cool. A lot of this stuff must have doubled up. Like we got two geodesic from one, and we must have got three from the other which we're full on, so we're just going to delete it anyway. Uh, all of this stuff should be full, but let's take a look for vortex cubes. No, we got 40 of those, okay. Um, <clears throat> hmm. These two I'm growing, so I definitely don't need those. I did check for emerald earlier when we were looking at indium. We're fine. That's all gone. So look at all this great stuff you could be getting from frigate missions if you have no money. That's a lot of money I just deleted. <laughs> okay, I've got uh, four. What did I? What did I have? Four frigate fuel. Ten. Oh, we got tons. We we can send whatever we want. Let's take a peek at the fleet. I think we need to buy. No, we don't need to buy anything. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I've named everything though. It looks that way. We only have four ships leveling up to S-Class still. And none of them have two stars here, so we've hit full uh, full class with each of these. Not full level. Let's see. We've got two combat, two exploration, three industrial, and three trade. Trade is actually looking pretty good. We've got a four, a five, and a five. Five and five are... That's great. Industrial... We have the opposite. We've got two fours and one five. And that five has minus six to fuel. Good. And it's max level. Never going to be better than 34, which is eh, low. It could be a lot better. 
but I like seeing a more even spread of numbers anyway, and that is more than enough to five star by itself any industrial mission. In fact, with these high numbers, this might be able to five star any general mission. We could check that out in a minute. Let's uh, let's see, let's see. The foe of souls, we'll try to remember that. All right, so what are we leveling up though? Because we need one more combat, one more exploration in here. We are leveling up a combat and an exploration. Perfect, and a support and a trade. Okay, so we're, we're gambling on trade right now. We already have three, but one of them is a 4%. Let's try to do better. This one we have here at A class is 4%. Let's take a peek. Ugh, this thing is going to get in the way. This, these pretty beautiful rings make it very hard to read these things. 1% uh, duration and 3%. So it's a 4. It's got, what is that number? Plus 6? I think it's a plus 6 to trading, which would give it a 21 base <clears throat> for at level 0. Uh, but we're at 34 now with 34 missions. Yeah. See, this one is already at 34, and it's going to level up a couple more times. So this one's already better than the 4% we have. Oh, wait. Was that the industrial one I was talking about? That was the industrial one we are talking about. What's this 4%? 4%. 4%. 4% and 37. Uh, yeah, this one's actually a little bit better. A little bit better. But, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's take a peek at the rest. Let's see if any of them have changed since I've named them. 3%. Nope. 3%. Damn. Ah, uh, what a waste. And we're at, yeah, that would make it set B class. We've got two modules unlocked and no red ones. If you have two modules unlocked and a red one, you'll be C class. Uh, similarly, you can have three modules unlocked and stay at B class if you have a red one here, like we do here. This is 3%. Yeah, all right, fair enough. And we already looked at this one. That one's accurate as well. Okay, so I guess we can send some missions. We've got 10 fuel. Well, 20 fuel. Those are stacks of 200. Let's view our expeditions. Hmm. 28 hours, we can reduce that pretty well, I think, even if we send all of the ones that are leveling up, because they're all at least a 3% base, plus a 4%, and I think, you know what, <clears throat> we could take a peek, let's back out of this, we, got, we can waste like another minute or so on this mission, it's 27 hours long anyway, let's take a peek at that 8%er, and see how far away from max level it is, because the stats are very low still. 42. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think it's only going to level up one more time, maybe. So we'll see what it gains, but it's not going to be very good stat-wise. But 8% and 24 to fuel reduction is huge. And as I was saying, you only need about 12 for my layout in any of these one stats. I think 10 is a bit too low, but uh, 12 should get us to S-Class. Let's actually try that. Let's see if we have a general mission. That's what we said we were going to do. Take a peek at the Foe of Souls and how it, well it fares. It's only six hours, but the duration doesn't really matter. We're just going to send it just the Foe of Souls. Um, yeah, that should be five stars for a general mission. We only need to hit 40 in each, not 100. Excuse me. And because we would only be sending one ship, even though it is not um, a support ship, it's only 50 tons. I mean, it's only a five-hour, six-hour mission, but still, that's a, a huge reduction in savings. Five-star mission by itself. Let's try it again with just that uh, 8%. Yeah, we easily, for a general mission, we easily hit uh, five stars. Boom and everything 40 or more uh, but if we go back to here we can see that combat is at 15 and hits 100 these which aren't too far behind 15 don't get anywhere close to 100 and in fact this one is at 10 and this one is at 10 and that's 57 that's 71 if we look at my modules I'm gaining the same amount to all of these stats equally but 
the way fleet coordination works is a mystery. I do not know how we're getting these bonuses multiplied, but it's not exactly even based on your stats here, nor is it even based on your modules in your freighter. These things here, as you can see, I've got three of each here. Oops. <laughs> and three of each here taking up a huge fraction of space on this thing. We haven't upgraded the hyperdrive here. We've got it fairly well fit for what we uh, have space for, but we haven't put any modules here yet. We, we could do that. Do I have those in storage? That would free up some storage space. Here we go. Uh, no, these are the ones to improve the speed of fleet. And they don't currently work yet. And these ones are for fuelish efficiency of fleet. Those are for frigate missions as well. Both of these are, and neither of them work. So I'm going to leave those. But I don't have any modules for hyperdrive range for the freighter itself. So we'll just leave it. Here's the stuff from scrapping that ship. And it's gone too. Activated Indian we might have used on the weekend mission. Let's take a peek. Do we need that? We do. See? There we go. Bonus. Uh... Yeah, we can just delete all this stuff. We do need 30 million to catch up, but we'll get that just from the regular frigate missions we're sending, like just from the returns. We don't need to sell this stuff to hit the cap again. I don't even know what I spent to uh, hit the cap. Boop, there we go, upgrade that. Store it away. All right, so, uh, did we even send that mission? We haven't sent any missions yet. Let's go send that long mission out. <laughs> 28 hours. Uh, you know what? I don't think I have any of these right now. I don't. So uh, we need to get that down to uh, 21 and a half hours about. If I'm doing my math quickly, estimating it right. Hopefully we can do that with a bunch of 3% and 1-8%. No. Well, that'll just have to be good enough. Or I can just wait until after the reset tomorrow. It's not like I always play directly after the reset for frigate missions. Uh, it's just a convenient time for me to actually log on and play is when the frigate missions reset. And then I can you know, check those at the same time. So I'll do it a bit later tomorrow. Okay, so let's take a quick peek. Was the fleet full? I can't remember now. Uh, we were already at the correct panel. Okay. Four pages, and on the last page is three. Yes, we have a full fleet, so we are waiting on those to level up. However, let's take a quick peek at this one. Hmm. Stat-wise, this one is slightly better than the other one. We'll just wait. We will just wait for the other one to level up. I thought maybe what we could do is delete this one and go pick up a replacement as a combat ship, uh, as a support ship because we already have a viable replacement here. But we'll just wait for it to, to hit S-Class and see. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to send out, looks like, the one mission today. Nah, let's level up some of those other ships that are not max level yet. We, we can gain experience and then let's not waste it. We've got the fuel. Instead of just letting it sit there, let's send out our second longest mission with our second best ships. Ooh, 5%. Yeah, that's still leveling up. I haven't checked any of these, right? They could have hit max level. It's possible. Uh, mm, see, this is more common for a support hitting max level. It's close to 20 and everything. As you can see, though, it's not 13. That's not that great. But 22. You know, close to 20. Some of them should hit 20 if you're max level. <laughs> that's still leveling up. 4%. That's good. There's a f trade we're still leveling up. So we've got two slots. Let's see what we can level up here that has importance. 4%. What is the combat ship we're sending out? Mm, I don't know what it's at. All right, let's send a trade. The defeat one <clears throat> and the combat one. Because we need at least one good combat ship leveling up. And our best combat ship on this save is 4%, unfortunately. Oh well. And we do not need to add any of these modules whatsoever. Adding these is basically wasting these. A better benefit for these would be to sell them than to send them on a mission 
where all of your stats are already at 150 because they will not go above 150 no matter what you add here. The only one worth using is this because you can always take 10% more time off. Just if you're sending at 10% on three hours, that's a lower reduction than 10% on 28 hours. Uh, and you can only fit three of them anyway, but you can send three of these permission to reduce the duration by 30%. By itself, that's huge. Plus your ship values that I'm farming, that I'm working on, it can add up. It can add up real big. A 28 hour mission, I, yeah, I could very easily, if, I, if all of these ships were 5% or even 4%, if all of these ships were 4%, that would be 20% bonus. Here would be 30 that would be a 50% bonus. It would take a 28-hour mission down to 14. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to achieve, uh, that ability. And I'm hoping to be able to do it with any of my ships. So I want to get everything down to 4%. All right, so we did uh, a lot of frigate stuff today. We sent out the missions. We took a peek. We went over the stuff again. Once again, just because I know people want to see how to do frigate missions it's not complicated i'm doing it in my way just because this is the way i like to do it and farm them let's head instead of taking the ship and flying there let's just head down to the base uh, our bases i can't head down to the trade station because i don't have a base there i don't want to put two bases on the same planet because only my most recently uploaded one will show to other people and i don't want to risk that I would accidentally upload. I wouldn't put any parts at this other base, but there's no way to warp there without putting parts, so. Well, no, I could warp to it. That's fair. Hmm, maybe I should put a base instead of just a marker. I'll think about it. <laughs> uh, I don't like to litter with base computers. It just fills up my list, my teleporter list. So on this save, there's very few base computers compared to my first normal save, which is chock full of them, pages and pages, and I have to figure out which one is which. <clears throat> I'm glad they now say which galaxy they're in. That's helpful. That took a while to load in, probably because there's so many base parts here already. <laughs> All right, and we're not even going to spend much time here. We're just going to jump right off the edge. Whee! Nice and safe in permadeath. <laughs> Up in the ship. Uh, you know what? We're going to make a save, even though we just used... Oh, 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 come on, game. <laughs> even though we just used the manual save beacon on the freighter. Just because it's a decent habit to get into when hopping in and out of your ship. Okay, now, where is that beacon? Over to the right somewhere. There we go. Oh, that's that wasn't pointed at it at all. Neither is that. There we go. It will highlight slightly blue around the edges if you're actually targeted on one of these beacons. And if you aren't, it won't, and you'll head off in a straight line. Unless you're targeted on something else behind it or near it. Oh, and speaking of, I don't want to land at the station. As I think was typo pointed out. I'm pretty sure it was typo. Uh, yeah, you can get five of these guys landing at the right post. Five NPCs. If you don't land here at all. If your ship isn't on any of these platforms, five of them will land instead of four. So... Let's hop up here. Uh, no, let's try that again. There we go. And I've been trying to stand in the same spot and face the same direction over this way. Uh, I was facing a different direction. I've been testing that out. Testing out your facing. And what I can tell you is that your facing, your character's facing at least, not your camera facing, does seem to affect where ships will spawn in. These guys will all appear on the horizon behind your character. But I have not seen any evidence after seven hours today and in all the time I've ever been doing anything like this, I've not seen any evidence that the direction you're facing affects which ships 
spawn. Just where they spawn in. So I'm pretty sure it's all random. I just like to face this direction over here because this tree over here points my back at a nice open field over the ocean and I can just stare out like this and watch the ships fall down from the sky and beneath the ocean and then fly back up again. <laughs> uh, it gives me a, a better view of what's potentially going to be coming my way. And uh, if I am doing a reload trick, you see I have the save beacon here, and it's floating up in the air. See? Boop. <laughs> uh, and I did that by building a couple of other pick upable items, like... Um, I think I had two save beacons. I think that's where I got that other save beacon from in the freighter inventory. Boom. And uh, this, the nutrient processor. I put those two down and then this one on top of it. <clears throat> and then I took the other two away. <laughs> so now I can save from here without having to reach over and be floating in the air. I can grab this from almost anywhere up here. And that's super helpful. Of course, now I'm walking all the way around and... Uh, all over the place and that's not going to help the ship spawn where I want them. So we're not even going to be able to showcase that because I missed this wave. And none of these are the ships I want at all, but I've had a lot better time getting ships to continually land. I don't run out of ships. Once in a while the pattern gets a bit distorted from five at a time. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five over there. Yeah. So you do have to keep spinning in an arc to see how many ships there are and uh, which ones are taking off. See, that guy took off. We're down to four. And a ship isn't going to land immediately. A new wave will appear over there on the horizon somewhere. There it is, over there. See? I just missed them going beneath the horizon, and then they pop up above the horizon. Uh, usually there's waves. Oh, I guess the landing pad's full. That guy took off to first base. <laughs> Anyway, I've been doing this all day long, and what I'm thinking is, uh, I'm going to try to jinx it here. What I'm thinking is that I'm, I'm just going to abandon the search for now. I do not need to fill my last ship slot. We have a new update coming out. Uh, we don't know when, but soon. Trademark. Um, and who knows what that will hold. Not only that, but there will be a new expedition, and who knows what that will hold. Uh, maybe I need space in my ship yard. Uh, what do we call that? Ship directory? Who knows? Uh, there, there. You see? They just fell beneath the horizon behind my head there. I was spinning around too fast. But then they pop back up again and they fly over here. None of those are the one I want. If I was doing a reload, I would be able to tell right away that none of those were the ones I want and I could reload right away. But I haven't really been doing the reload method. I've just been waiting for them to come in because this planet is gorgeous. It looks great in the day. It looks great at night. Oh, hey, look, there's three more ships. And that's the one I want, but it's just going to fly off into space. And it was a C-class? I didn't see. Oh, there it is. B-class. But I think it did fly off into space. Yeah, there it goes. Woo! <laughs> uh, I've also considered looking at these ones to see if they pop in at S class because uh, with the hyperdrive range that I want. Because they're okay. They're not red. They're a bit of an orangey red. I mean, it's close. It's just it's not the same red. It's definitely not pure orange. But I want a red more like that red, just not on a shuttle. Blech. <laughs> And that's C-Class. Yeah. All right. One more thing before we go. I saw something over here. Oh, no, no. Now that I hit the ground, I can see that it is lit up. I thought that word tube over there was still uh, ungrabbed. <clears throat> well, it is. All right. Too bad. One less word I can learn. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for this time, everyone. Till next time, have a good time. <laughs>